Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Contour Rome 2 1080p action camera. Now first things first, I'm going to just go over all of the features with the camera, starting off with that very solid metal exterior body. It does feel very solid and very appropriate for an HD action camera. Moving right along now to the fully adjustable and rotatable lens, which is just perfect, especially whenever you need to mount the camera to something and want to make sure you get that shot in frame. Now you can do so rotating it to whatever angle that you like, making sure that your shot is just perfect and never crooked. Alright, so here I go, opening up the back portion of the camera, and this is where some of the key features of the camera can be located, mainly the SD card slot, and it's kind of difficult in order to get the SD card in and out of there. You're going to need something like a ruler or a credit card or something to that effect, but once you get it out, it simply pops right out of there. I have the micro SD card, 32 gigabytes here, and I've never really had a problem in terms of storage space, although you might need something a little bit larger depending on what you're filming. And once you need to get it back in there, it simply just slides in and then you're going to need to push it in a lot further in order to lock it in, of course, using the ruler or credit card or something to that effect again. Now taking a closer look at the buttons on the inside of the camera, you have the reset button, the USB mini port, the laser button, the micro SD card slot, and the format button. Once you close the back of the camera, you can activate the leveling laser by clicking on the large button on the back of the camera. This is especially handy whenever you rotate the camera lens and have this mounted to something. This will work no matter what angle you put the lens into and is by far one of my favorite features of this camera. Another great feature of this camera are the locking mechanisms. As you can see here, whenever it's slid into the red position, you cannot move the on and off switch at all. But whenever it's switched off, it will easily be able to turn on. Also note that you can lock the camera in the on position, which is also very handy whenever you have the camera mounted to something. When the camera is on, you will get these lights indicating that the camera is on. And while we're on the subject of locking mechanisms, you also get this handy locking mechanism on the back of the camera, ensuring that all the inner workings are nice and safe. Here we have the USB to USB mini cord, very lengthy and easy to use. Simply plug it into the appropriate port in the back of the camera. Another great feature of the camera are the amount of mounting options available for it. As you can see here, there are grooves on the side of the camera that are meant for various types of mounts that simply lock into place, and a simple cursory search of eBay or Amazon will list various types of mounts available for the camera. There is so much so that you can get a mount for pretty much anything that you desire. As you can see here, I have a tripod and a selfie stick. I also have a handlebar mount for my camera whenever I want to do scooter videos. It's very simple, screws into the bottom of the camera, no worries and no fuss. And now moving on to a little bit of video. Here I am riding my scooter and getting a little bit of footage. And it should be noted that this camera has no onboard stabilization. I had to stabilize this myself in After Effects. Just note that if you use this without any kind of stabilization, the video will be extremely shaky. And in contrast, here's a little bit of clean footage featuring my dog and I. Just note that it is scaled down to 720p. And now moving on to the included software with your camera, Contour Storyteller. It is here where you will be able to make all of the changes to the settings of your camera, including the frame rate, mode, quality, and white balance. You will also be able to download all of the videos from your camera from this software. Just note that using this software is absolutely necessary for downloading the videos and making changes to your camera. Alright, so now that I've done a general overview of the camera, I think it's time to move on to the review, which I will do now via pros and cons, starting off with the pros. Firstly, this camera is dummy proof. It is so simple to use that anyone you hand this camera to will instantaneously be able to pick it up and use it. No worries and no fuss. Also, this camera has tons of mounts available for it. Anything that you want to attach this camera to, you will be able to find a mount for that. Also, the camera has a 360 angle 
swivel with the lens, meaning that anything that you want to be in frame will be in frame. Also, the camera has amazing battery life. I've taken it out numerous times and have never been able to quench the battery. Also, the software is very simple, even for first-time users, and the camera has decent sound, especially for an action camera. Okay, so now moving on to the cons. Firstly, there is no built-in stabilization in this camera. That means that all of the footage that you get will most likely be pretty shaky. Also, that footage can sometimes be pretty fuzzy, even with this camera's very high resolution rate. Also, the camera does not function that well in low light. Also, there's a tricky USB connection whenever the software needs to recognize the camera. I sometimes have to wiggle the USB in order to get the software to recognize that my camera is attached to the PC. Also, there is the simple fact that you need that software in order to download any of your videos and cannot just download those videos directly from your camera. Okay, so now in summation, overall this camera is just an average performer in terms of picture quality. It is, however, very durable, easy to use, and versatile for varieties of situations. This is most likely not the camera for everyone. If you're on a budget, however, this might suit you fine. Otherwise, shop around a little and see what you can find. Alright everybody, that does it for my review of the Contour Rome 2 HD Action Camera. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and do all that snazzy stuff before you leave. And with that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.